Hey guys, what is up and welcome to part two of an epic stockings haul slash organization slash am I keeping this or am I getting rid of this type video. So I have been stuck in my house. This is the ninth day or so of self-isolation. I was in Mexico not last weekend, but the weekend before that, and I was asked by Canada to self-isolate the second I got home, because I was there for a big uh, Comic-Con called La Mole that obviously I got booked for months in advance that kind of just, everything went down that weekend of La Mole. So they didn't cancel it, and I, you know, I'm very glad they didn't, but at the same time, I've had to self-isolate because of that, and honestly, it's good. It's good. We should all be self-isolating. We should be staying at home as much as possible unless we need food, groceries, whatever it is, right? Let's stop this thing in its path. It's already gone too far. But anyways, I have been cleaning and organizing and trying to do a little bit of spring cleaning while I am here at home. I have been streaming a lot on Twitch. I've been playing Animal Crossing. I have been uh, building a pond, tearing down my old sunroom. Uh, me and my dad are going to be building a deck soon, which will be on my gardening channel, and so much other stuff. So, yeah, I've been keeping extremely busy. I'm very lucky in that sense. I have been working at home for the last two years, and a lot of that has kept me extremely busy. So I am very lucky. But yeah, anyways, I sit here in my underwear because I'm going to try on some stockings for you. <laughs> I recently, I also shot a part one of this, which was all black stockings, and I will leave that video in a area <laughs> for you to watch if you would like. This is part two. This is a bunch of colorful ones that I have, starting with these guys, which are already hard to put on. <laughs> Okay, there we go. The thing with stockings is, is like once you take them off, they are hard to to de-ravel basically and put them back on. Ah, okay, there we go. I need to wear these soon. <laughs> the problem with me in self-isolation is I'm not able to shoot as much. Luckily, I plan my Patreon and my OnlyFans content like months in advance, mostly my Patreon. OnlyFans is definitely more casual. Um, but I'm hoping this doesn't go till like July because I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna run out of beautiful planned cosplay photography by then. I pre-shot a few things, which I'm very glad I did. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's stand up, shall we? Gotta put these on properly. Alright, so these are so pretty. I gotta wear these again for something. I don't know. Ooh, they're so, they feel, they feel so weird. I gotta wear these, obviously with no underwear underneath. Just like a really super sexy look because these are nice so we're gonna be keeping these for now Ooh, baby girl get it we're gonna be keeping these for now <laughs> as I stumble <laughs> they're nice right I like them Ooh. <laughs> yeah I don't know any other way to do this besides like kind of sitting on my floor because and here's the tangled part because if I don't sit on my floor like I don't want to be so far out of frame and I also don't want to have issues with other things like focus yeah so this is how we're living I hope you enjoy it Whoa, these are intense. I don't even know if I've tried these on. See, like I said, this is this is such a nice thing for me. It's good for you guys. I know some of you have been request wow. Vocabulary Holly. Requesting that I do like stockings and more hauls and stuff like that, which I'm totally down for doing. 
But of course, I have to organize and clean first. These are these are pretty, but they have some marks in them. And secondly, like it's weird. It goes from like super small to like kind of okay or kind of big. They don't have too many rips in them. By rips, I mean like the little marks. I don't know, what do you guys think? Hmm. I just, I don't think I like where they cut off and I personally can't go much higher than that just because of how these elastics are, right? I'm not really sure. I would prefer if they were a little higher. Huh. What do you guys think? Hmm? Hmm? They're nice though. Maybe I should keep them. They're actually, they're pretty, they're pretty good looking tights in general. And I'm sure I could use them for something. Before the end of the world, right? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> All right, next pair. Let's do these blue ones. These are beautiful. I would love to wear these again soon. I actually can't remember why, what I wore them in, um, but they're good for spring. So maybe I can do that. Let's see here. What did I wear these for? I don't, I think I know. So I had a really nice like lingerie set that I did at a club. We rented out a club and it was a really good photographer, but he didn't really give me that many images back. And I can't tell you how many times that happens when photographers just don't like deliver like, I kid you not, I have messaged the same photographer like 30 times and been like, hey man, just send me the files. I will get somebody else to edit them. I've done this with photographers and videographers. I don't like wasting time. And when I shoot with someone and I get ready, I do my hair, do my makeup, put effort into my outfits, my cosplays, whatever it is, and then I don't get that footage back I don't get those photos those videos back it's so annoying I obviously take a mental note of those people who don't give me content back and I will never shoot with them again but at the same time it's like hey we did work together like can I just have these files like I said just give me the goddamn files so that I can send them to a professional retoucher and get them edited and I'll still credit you. Or if you don't want me to credit you, I won't credit you. It's such an annoyance being a model that you, you do all this time and people wonder why girls on Instagram are taking, you know, selfies of themselves or really decent portrait mode photos with their iPhone and they're just getting their significant other or one of their girlfriends to take them and posting that. I see photographers complaining all the time about models posting iPhone photos, but it's like, bitch, you don't give me back my content in the first place. So, sorry, little baby rant in there, but it's true. It's true. I can't even tell you how many times I have shot and I have not received stuff back or, or one photo or two photos for like five to six hours of my life. I'm like, stop. Quality over quantity, yes, but I would like more than one image. If any photographers are watching. <laughs> Anyways, these are adorable. Holy hell, I need to shoot these again. Yeah. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. <laughs> All right, so these are keeper for sure. I'm going to put these aside. Find really beautiful. I think I have a lingerie one piece see through outfit that I could shoot outside. Oh, ooh, when it gets like prettier outside. Okay, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. 
I'm gonna make that triangle thing in my garden this year flowers like all different colored flowers instead of strawberry plants just it was nice and green last year but I barely got any actual fruit out of it I know what I'm gonna do see I'm already planning for like June <laughs> when is it it's March <laughs> almost April by the time this video goes out yay <laughs> all right we got two more pairs Whew. again I have this beautiful we'll save the red for last oh I'm so excited for these and what happens with these videos I've said it before like this helps give me ideas of what to do and makes me remember what things look like when I put them on my body but also like if I have shot it and I never got images back um, it's obviously duo purpose if I can just use it in a, one of these videos, but as well as be like, okay, I never got those, I never got those images, so it's been a year, I'm gonna reshoot it. So, it probably looks like I'm a massive hoarder, but, kinda have to be, <laughs> to be honest. I gotta, I have to have massive amounts of bikinis just in case I shoot them and no one gives me the goddamn content. Ooh, these are cute. So these are pink. These are adorable. Again, I wore these for like a Valentine's topless set I did years ago. And I think as well, I'm going to reuse them for something again soon because these are so cute, right? These are nice. I really like these. Very spring, very Easter, very pastel. Ooh, they're a little tight though. Ooh, girl. What do we think? <laughs> I like these. These are nice. Okay. I think I'm keeping all the colored pairs. I really only have five. Two reds. One is like a maroon. Those crazy fishnetty ones, pinks, blues. So yeah. All right, last pair for this video. Like I said, the black ones I had way more of. These are crazy. So I think these actually came out with like a leather skirt. No, a latex skirt. And I don't think I wore them. So I actually don't think I've ever worn these. I can't recall on any of my photos wearing these, but I've had them in my drawer for quite some time. So, again, I think I'll be keeping these ones. So out of all the colored ones, I don't think I'm giving any away. Yeah. These are nice. They're so cool looking and they're really high. Ooh, get those, get those hot dogs in there. Yeah? Yeah, these are nice and high. <coughs> I don't know how much you guys can see. Hopefully you can see enough. coffee anyways what do you think <laughs> what do you think oh these are cute I actually really like these so again these are saying <laughs> all right these are definitely saying I really like these. I think they're super cute. I have no idea what I'm doing for thumbnails. Didn't think of that. Standing back there? Okay. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I did a black haul. I will link that down below. And yeah, um, I'm going to continue to kind of do some haul videos where I'm where I'm cleaning, where it's like yes or no situation, just kind of organizing for myself. But of course, filming the whole process 
and letting you guys see what I like and don't like. A lot of production has been put to a halt simply because of COVID-19 and I just haven't been getting a lot of packages. I haven't been getting a lot of emails from companies offering to sponsor videos and or send me stuff to try on. And of course that's like normal and it's totally fine. Um, so yeah, this is kind of what I'm gonna be doing right now to give you guys some content. I think I'm also gonna start my ASMR fantasy book club if you guys are down for that. I'm so down, which will also be another, another series, which I think will be really fun. And yeah, I'm gonna continue to sort through and try things on and do a bunch of stuff for you guys here on my YouTube channel. And like I said, again, if you wanna send some support my way, you can subscribe to my OnlyFans, my Patreon, or become a member at hollywolf.ca. You got three options, but I know a lot of people are out of work. It sucks. This whole thing has been a, such a strain on the economy. And of course people are sick and not well, and it's affecting people's livelihoods and everything. So please do your part. Make sure you stay inside. Make sure you're self-isolating. Make sure you keep as clean as possible. Wash your damn hands. Use hand sanitizer if you can't find running water and soap. Um, don't, don't use it as a full substitute. That's not what hand sanitizer is for. But uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and like this video. If you haven't already, we, we are about to reach another milestone. So thank you guys so much. I'm very thankful that you're even watching my content. Um, yeah, just give me your eyes. That's all I really ask for. I'm very grateful. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later.